Hey guys, um, I have a few videos for you guys today. Um, the first one is my, um, is like an update slash October wrap up slash not really TBR, but I'll explain that as I go. Um, anyway, so yes, October. Um, well, oh wait, no, update first. Okay, so basically... I think I mentioned this in my last video, or a video before that, sometime in the last week or so, but I have a full-time job now that keeps me very, very busy, um, and makes me kind of really tired when I get home, so I won't be reading as much, um, even though, I mean, I know I've kind of sucked at reading um, the last couple of months, but I'm hoping what this job is going to do for me is it's going to make me have a routine now, so then I'll have, like, specific, um, specific times where I do read. Like, for example, I've been taking half an hour of my lunch break every day and reading, um, and... You know, there are certain nights of the week where I don't have shows on, so I'll probably read then and on the weekends and stuff like that. So hopefully this will actually make me read more, but I'll still be reading a lot less than I had been planning on reading uh, when I didn't have this job. So yeah, that's the update real quick. Um, I don't know why I just did the hand. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but wrap up for October. Uh, because I got this job kind of, not in mid-month, but, mm, kind of middle of the month, I only read one book. Um, not for lack of trying, I'll explain that in a second, but basically the book that I did complete is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and five, five out of five. It was amazing. It, I think I read it in two days, and it was great. And I'm not gonna lie, the first, like, 50 pages or so when I was reading, I was like, am I gonna like this? Because the writing was great, but Kath's character, um, I'm trying not to, like, spoil for you guys, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they talked about this within the first 10 pages, so I feel like this isn't really a spoiler. She is so introverted that it is to the point of, like, being very hermit-like. I have several friends who, um, are introverts. Like, they like spending time by themselves. Um, they love their friends and they're, like, open with their friends. Um, but they also really need me time. And I'm not one of those people. I am the person who I feel kind of lonely when I'm not around people. Um, and bored. Like, when I'm by myself, unless I'm reading. If I'm reading or watching a movie, that's fine. But just being by myself and not really doing anything, I just don't, I don't do that. I, no. I don't like it. Um, and I, I prefer being around people to not. But anyway, that's beside the point. This girl is not an introvert. She is a freaking hermit. Like, in the beginning, she, it's almost like she doesn't even want to make friends to the point where she's, like, rude to people. Um, and I was like, okay, I feel like I'm gonna hate this chick. But as you go through the story, she does get a lot better. There's character growth and development. And the thing that I love about Kath straight from the very beginning is the way I can identify with her in her fangirl-ness. Because that's how I am with Harry Potter. That's how I am, or was with Phantom of the Opera. In high school, I was, that was me. Um, in high school, I was a Phantom of the Opera freak, and I have one friend who knows what that was like. Like, when people say they like the musical, or they like the movie, or they liked the book, I'm like, uh, no, 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 no. You have no idea what that means. And it's kind of, I feel like any, like, really obsessed, any person who's been really obsessed with something knows what that feels like. 
Like, when people say, oh, I like this, you're like, <laughs> no. Um, but, yeah, that was my high school experience. And uh, now I still love it. It is, um, I kind of look back on that time of my life like I was a little bit crazy, but it was also a lot of fun. Um, so I have very fond memories of that. So I still love Phantom. Um, I love Harry Potter. I... What else am I obsessed with? My current obsession is, like, uh, classics and uh, BBC. Anything BBC does, I love. Um, but, yeah, so I really identified with that part of Kath. Um, I guess I just have kind of an obsessive personality. Um, and so she was kind of the same way. Um, and so that was really cool. And then I really enjoyed... But was kind of irritated at the same time with uh, the the um, fandom that is created. Uh, it's called Simon Snow, and it's like this series of books that's basically exactly like Harry Potter, but it's weird because Harry Potter also exists in this book. Um, like they talk about Harry Potter at one point, and I'm like, wait, you're talking about Harry Potter, but there's a fictional series that you guys have that is the exact same thing. What? Um, so that was kind of, and it was to the point where some of the scenes that they talk about, I'm like, okay, this definitely happened. Like this exact thing happened in Harry Potter. <laughs> um, and, oh, I don't, okay. Uh, if you haven't read the book, um, don't watch like this part of the video, like skip the next 20 seconds. Um, but basically, one thing that kind of really bothered me is Kath, uh, her fanfiction that she writes is basically if Harry Potter fell in love with Draco Malfoy and Draco Malfoy also was part Edward Cullen. Um, yeah, that's what that was like. And I'm hoping that Rainbow Rowell was like making fun of that. Um, very strongly, because, yeah, that kind of fan fiction, and I mean, this is not, I'm not, um, bashing people who ship relationships in fiction that aren't real, but for me, I can't do that. Like, if I ship a relationship in a TV show or a film or a book, it's because it, if it didn't happen, it could have happened. There was potential for it. But the people who do fan fiction, not the people who do fan fiction, um, but the relationships that people um, ship that just are completely like that couldn't happen, I don't understand. I don't understand why, because it's, it's almost like they're changing that character's personality to the point where they would want to be with this other character. And I'm like, no, this wouldn't. Why? It's it's like you're rewriting the entire story to suit your own wants or something. Um, like, to the point of rewriting the character's personality. And if you're gonna do something like that, why not just write your own story instead of writing fanfiction, if that makes any sense. Um, but again, it's like, it's no offense to the people who do the shipping that where it couldn't happen. Like, it's no offense to you guys. If you enjoy that, cool. But for me, it's just like a, it's too far, uh, out there for me to enjoy that. But anyway, so yes, sorry, that was a spoiler. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the rest of the book. Uh, there's a character, I really like the contrast between Cather and her twin sister Ren um and there is a character in it called Levi and he was amazing I like fell in love with his character like straight away um and this book was just so enjoyable for me that it's definitely going on my I've already read this but I definitely need to own it list um it was fantastic okay so 10 minutes in and yeah I'm done talking about fangirl I'm sorry um, that was really long and kind of hard to follow, I'm sure, but it was fantastic. Um, and 
the reason why I didn't like talk about the plot much is because I did that in my haul when I like read what the book was about and I don't want to like give away major plot lines. The reading, there were just several books that I started to read that I just didn't get into and I don't know if it was because I wasn't in the mood to read or if I just wasn't in the mood to read these. Um, two that come to mind are Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rice. I wanted to read that specifically before I started reading Jane Eyre because I wanted to, um, I know the story pretty well of Jane Eyre and I wanted to know, um, Bertha Mason's side of that story. Um, so I started reading it and I just couldn't, I did not like the writing. It was really, the things that were happening were just really incredibly depressing. And I'm hoping that I will go back later and um, be in the mood to read it. But it was literally too depressing. Like, I've read classics that were pretty, pretty depressing. But the writing was so fantastic or certain things happened to make it better that I was okay that this is, it was considered a tragedy, um, or a drama. This was like, I couldn't handle it. It was so, there was nothing good about her life. Like from the, from the 60 pages that I read, nothing good had happened. And I was just like, mm, yeah. And knowing that your life just gets suckier from here. I just can't continue with this right now. So I returned it to the library and hopefully I'll finish it someday. Um, and the same thing happened with Shadow and Bone um, in the sense that I just really wasn't getting into it. Um, but I'm hoping again that it was a mood thing. Um, and I think the reason, I'm pretty sure I explained this in my reading update, but I'm pretty sure that the reason is because um, I had also read Throne of Glass, and Throne of Glass was so good that reading a book of the same genre right after that, or like pretty close to it, I was bound to be disappointed because I loved Throne of Glass. Um... And again, I'm hoping that I will go back and check it out in a couple months and really enjoy it. But for now, I was like, I'm not going to read something I don't feel like reading. I want to be sucked into it. So, yeah. So that was my October, basically. There were a couple other books where I did that same thing with, but I guess they were so bad that I can't even remember what they were. Um, but yeah, I tried to read several and just couldn't get into them at the time. So that was disappointing. But hopefully November will be better. Um, and actually since this video is almost 14 minutes long because I've just been rambling, I'm going to make a separate video for my TBR and then I, or not TBR, but I'll, I'll explain uh, that later, but yeah, um, so going to make that video, and then, um, I also have a haul for you guys that I'm going to film, and what was the other one? Um, the other one's a surprise, I'm not going to tell you, um, but yes, thank you guys for watching, I'm sorry if I rambled through a lot of this, uh, you, you don't have to watch this whole thing if you just thought I was rambling, that's fine, um, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I love subscribers, new subscribers. Um, and I'm getting ready to bust 100! I know that's not that big a deal based on how many people have like thousands, but for me it's like pretty huge. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.